Hi, I'm Laura Palatin, spiritual guide and teacher. Every morning I'm gifted with a message from spirit. It just comes to me word for word. I keep getting it louder and louder until I get out of bed and write it down, usually between three and five o'clock in the morning. Not a morning person, so that makes it kind of interesting. Today's message was very difficult to interpret in the word for word format. It took me a couple times of reading it and that's why I felt like it was worth doing a deep dive. So here's the message. Beside everyone is a reason for existing. You put it aside for safekeeping and forget it's there. Revisiting this purpose is important for a feeling of success and accomplishment in this life. Pick it up and try it on again from time to time to see if it still fits. Does your life fit your reason for being or does your reason for being fit your life? Right? At first, it's like, what the heck does that even mean? But when you give it a minute, it's really powerful. So I'm just going to go through it line by line. Beside everyone is a reason for existing. We put it aside for safekeeping, right? This world and all of its distractions and its its lusciousness, right? It's something we came here to experience. We came into these human bodies as spiritual beings to have this experience. In order to get fully immersed in the experience of being a human, we kind of have to put aside the fact that we're really just spiritual beings, right? And we've all done that at least some point in our lives, just dove in, been there in that human world, experiencing everything from a very human perspective. Revisiting this purpose is important for a feeling of success and accomplishment in this life. So judging our lives by the standards of the world is a always losing battle. The most successful people that have ever lived, I think by the standards of the world, right, would be athletes and actors, right? They have accolades, they have money, and yet those folks are more likely to be drug addicted and commit suicide and be extraordinarily miserable. So having external validation, money, fame, is definitely not the ultimate in this experience, but that's what the world would have us believe. And when you live your life trying to achieve these things and judging yourself by how you have failed to achieve these things, right? You're never going to be happy. At least most people aren't. Some people clearly love it, but most of us find that that kind of success does not fill our soul. So what does? Knowing that you're on a spiritual journey, that every single thing that's happening in your life, even if it's painful, is fulfilling the goal that you set when you came here to live this life. You can't do this wrong when you take it from the perspective of a spiritual journey. So picking it up, trying it on again, seeing if it fits, that's all about pausing your life, going within and saying, why am I here? What is my goal from a spiritual perspective? I'm going to be making a whole series of videos about connecting across the veil, finding your own personal spiritual path. So I hope you look for those down the line. I'm going to be filming one actually this week. So that's pretty exciting. The next line is, does your life fit your reason for being? Once again, what is your spiritual path? Does your life fit that? And the last question is the really telling one, and that is, or does your reason for being fit your life? So that goes back to buying into the human experience to the point where you want to say, oh, it's all about success, and it's all about the things that I've accumulated, and it's all about the people I've impressed, instead of it's all about me being on my spiritual path. It's all about me growing as a spiritual being. It's all about me helping other people grow themselves in their path and find their way and in my case release fear-based belief systems and trust our inner knowing to a point where we're walking that path and we know in our soul that we're on our spiritual path and that brings a kind of joy that no things come close to so pretty cool message Hope it resonates with you. See you next time. Bye.